So it's November 28, 2018, and Google made an announcement today. The Google Project Fi has now been called Google Fi. Now, there's a little bit more to the announcement, which we'll get into in a second. If you're not familiar with Project Fi, Project Fi is a system by which Google is becoming a cell phone provider. This started around 2015, and that's when I signed up, was actually in November of 2015, and ported my number away from Verizon and into Google Fi, and it's been a great experience, both customer service and coverage-wise, ever since. I've only ever had to call the customer service once, um, and it was easy and simple to deal with. It was an outage related to the T-Mobile side of the network. So if you're not familiar with the infrastructure that is Google Fi, Google didn't run out and put a bunch of cell towers up. They went and piggybacked off of T-Mobile Sprint and US Cellular's networks. And by doing so, they allow the phones to connect to any of those networks. You only have to pay Google and Google takes care of the back end for you. Plus they have Wi-Fi calling and the ability to call via your browser and via text messaging inside the browser from your phone number. So not only your phone works, it works elsewhere, which is really slick. But one of the troubles with Google Fi is it only had the list of official Fi supported phones. and other phones like the iPhone, which a lot of people, I know they're into that ecosystem, they want to bring it over. You can't bring the iPhone over until now. Google is officially supporting other phones on their network, which is definitely a big announcement because it's one of the common questions I get when people ask me about Google Fi, but I already have this particular phone. I already bought these phones. Um, well, now you can put them on there officially. Unofficially, there was ways to get around it and put them on there, but it wasn't officially supported by Google. So unofficially, yeah, the phone kind of would sort of work. Now, the warnings are when you do bring these other phones, such as the iPhone over, you're going to lose the Wi-Fi calling features. That's just not supported on anything other than the official five phones as of right now. I don't know if that will change in the future. The other thing is it only goes on the T-Mobile network and does not allow to switch over to other carrier networks. So those are a couple downsides. The upsides are you get the other things like the Wi-Fi calling. Well, I'll leave a link to to the Google Fi project page and an offer code I have for signing up that uh, helps both of us out. If you'd like to click that, you can, but you don't need any special offer codes to sign up with Fi. You can just go up and sign up right from the Google Fi project page. Like I said, I'll have all the links below. But I wanted to give my opinion of it. I'm still happy with it. It still works. Uh, one of my staff has actually switched over his phone already to it, and it's working perfectly fine with the things I commented where he still does not have the ability to do anything other than T-Mobile. But other than that, we have tested it and it is working on there. We were testing it unofficially. Now it's officially supported by Google. And uh, it's been trouble free. And I just want to give my opinion. I'm still happy with Google Fi. They've added the Google Family Sharing Plan. So I put my family on there. Uh, so we all have the Google Fi phones. We all have Google Fi official phones and we've really had no problems at all with them. So that's my follow-up on Google Fi. It's uh, been a great service. I'm still happy with it. And I'm excited about these new announcements they've had of it. All right. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up. Leave us some feedback below to let us know any details, what you like and didn't like as well, because we love hearing the feedback. Or if you just want to say thanks, leave a comment. If you want to be notified of new videos as they come out, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell icon. That lets YouTube know that you're interested in notifications. Hopefully they send them, <laughs> as we've learned with YouTube. Anyways, if you want to contract us for consulting services, you go ahead and hit lawrencesystems.com and you can reach out to us for all the projects that we can do and help you. We work with a lot of uh, small businesses, IT companies, even some large companies, and you can farm different work out to us or just hire us as a consultant to help design your network. Also, if you want to help the channel in other ways, we have a Patreon. We have affiliate links. You'll find them in the description. You'll also find recommendations to other affiliate links and things you can sign up for on lawrencesystems.com. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.